guys, this is Sam's Mac Help here, and today I will be showing you Google Chrome for the Mac, the developer release. Now just before we start, this is likely to be the last developer release for the Mac because they only have one major bug to fix because they recently just fixed the other four major bugs. So if you want to get your hands on the last developer release before like the major beta, then you can download this here. I will have this link in the description up here. So then all you have to do is click accept and download. So if we just open up Google Chrome here, as you can see it opens up very quickly and you will have your sort of thumbnails here of your recently viewed tap of your recently viewed windows and websites and stuff. You can have them in like thumbnails or you can have them in a list view and then you can like have what you want to be shown so I've got most visited and tips but you can also have recently closed as well so I'm sure you're familiar with Google Chrome but if you're not I'll just go through the main features up here we have a URL bar that is combined with a search bar and of course as default it comes as the Google search bar but if you just right click and then go on edit search engines you can actually change it so I've changed it to Bing not because I particularly like Bing or use Bing just because I was testing it out so I could change it back to Google and then make that default and now I can close that. So you can type in any URL in there and press enter or go along here. Or you can type in any search you want to. So here we have the file, the um, menus up here. We have file, edit, view, history, bookmarks, window, help, which are just normal for a browser. But up here we have Chrome and if we go into the preferences... We have basics, which is just on startup, open the home page, whatever. And then you can change the home page, the toolbar, and default Google, default search. So you can change that in here as well as it right clicking on the search bar. And make Google Chrome my default browser, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Maybe I will when the actual version comes out. In the personal stuff tab, we have passwords, off to save passwords and never save passwords. From autofill, browsing data and themes. Now themes is very interesting because they are actually the same as the Windows themes, but I don't think it's that much of a publicised um, feature for these themes. So if I could just click get themes here, it will open up the Google Chrome themes gallery. These are the themes by artists, so you can have any one of these, or you can have themes by Google, and you can have any one of these. So let's say someone likes a darker theme, you supply this theme called Late Night and it will download it and install it automatically. So there we go, so that's like a, sort of a nice glowing theme when you move your cursor and stuff. But if we apply the classic theme that looks blue on here, it's in fact grey because the classic theme for the Mac is for some reason grey. I suppose that would fit in with most other applications on the Mac. So that is really a main overview of Google Chrome for the Mac. It's very similar to Google Chrome for Windows. Um, it's very stable, very quick. And this is the last, probably the last developer release before the major beta or beta. So thank you for watching my quick review and tutorial on the developer release of Chrome for the Mac. Um, please subscribe to Sam's Mac Help as I'll be doing more videos soon. And thank you for watching.